Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a very quick and simple recipe for hot wings or buffalo wings with my little twist on them. Now, tomorrow's Friday, leading up into the weekend, we all want something really good to eat, little bits of snack foods, things that are not usually the best for you, but honestly, they just make you feel good on the inside. So we're gonna show you how to make these buffalo wings and I hope you guys enjoy. The first thing we're going to start off with, of course, is the chicken wings. I have the drumstick pieces as well as the flat parts and I've washed them really well, cleaned off any excess fat and then I've patted them dry so this way there's not a lot of excess liquid. Once you've done that, you're going to season them with some salt and pepper to taste. If you want to see any of the ingredients and measurements that I'm using, check in the description box below this video so you can see everything when you're putting this dish together. Once you add in the salt and pepper, you're also going to go on with some granulated garlic. On top of the granulated garlic, I'm going on with some crushed hot pepper. Now in my fridge, I always have a jar of crushed weary weary and scotch bonnet peppers. This is not a seasoned pepper sauce or anything like that. It's straight up hot peppers that are crushed and it just makes for easy access when I need to put it into marinades like this. Now I'm also going to go on with some green seasoning and if you want to see how I make my green seasoning, it'll be linked in the description box down below. And this will just add a nice Caribbean flair and a freshness to the chicken wings. And now we're just going to mix up all of the seasonings into the chicken wings really well. Once I mix this up, I'm going to cover it and pop it into my fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour to let it marinate. My chicken wings have been marinating for about 30 minutes to an hour in my fridge. You can do this overnight if you wanted to as well, just as much time as you have on your hands. So now at this point, I'm gonna add on a little bit of all-purpose flour as well as some cornstarch. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want my wings to have a little bit of a crispiness to them. If you wanted to bread your wings and actually dredge it in the flour and cornstarch mixture, you can, but I don't want a really heavy breading on it because my family doesn't like that. So I'm gonna mix this up really well and I'll show you what to do next. Once you've coated the chicken wings in the flour and the cornstarch, it is time to fry. So in a heavy bottom pot, I've heated up some canola oil on a medium heat, um, you could do medium to medium high depending on your stove. And once you see that it's hot, you're gonna go in with a batch of chicken wings. You're gonna fry these for about eight to 10 minutes or until they are nice and crispy and golden brown as you guys are seeing here. Once your chicken wings have this beautiful golden brown color and a crispy exterior, you're gonna transfer them onto a rack. So this way any of that excess oil could be drained off. I do not recommend that you put it on a paper towel or in a bowl or something like that because it tends to make the chicken wings sweat and then they lose their crispiness. Now at this point, being that we season these chicken wings so well, you can actually eat them as is, just like plain fried chicken. They're really good, especially when you serve them along french fries or plantain fries as you see in the upper right hand corner but we are gonna cover them with buffalo sauce to make them into hot wings. To make a buffalo sauce, there's two ways to do it and it's very quick and very simple. The first way that you can make it is like how I'm gonna make it. Basically, you just melt a little bit of butter in your pan and once that butter melts, you're gonna add in some Tabasco sauce or any type of light tasting um, hot sauce that they sell on the market. And once you add that hot sauce into the butter, you're just gonna go ahead and mix it up really well. So this way everything can get combined and you're gonna let it come up to a simmer and then it will be done. Now, if you did not want to actually make the sauce like how I'm making it today, you can go ahead and buy a pre-made buffalo sauce that they sell at the supermarket and that will work just fine. Just heat it up before you put it on your wings. Now, once your chicken wings are done frying, you're going to go ahead and put them into a big bowl. And if you have a bowl with a cover, that is better, but I don't have a cover for this bowl, so I'm just going to toss them up. You're just going to put your buffalo sauce all over the chicken wings and you can make them as saucy or not as saucy as you want. And then you're just going to toss them up really well until everything's coated. I love my wings very saucy. If you want them dry even, you could go ahead and serve the sauce on the side and just dip it in. But once you toss it up, you're going to go ahead and serve it while it is still warm. So this way it's a little crispy and still nice and saucy. And trust me, your family is going to enjoy this. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a nice big thumbs up. You got to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and come on and join the Matthews Guyanese Cooking family. Click that red subscribe button and the bell notification icon. So this way you never miss out on when I post a new recipe. And of course, leave your comments down below. I hope you guys have a great, a safe and a happy and delicious weekend. I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye, everyone.